Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a web app. So right now, I got all the code set up here. I got my HTML file, and now I want to deploy it. So I'm going to go through the settings and all the setup that it takes to deploy a web app. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest video. Let's get started with this video. So here I got all my code set up. I got my scripts, my do get function here along with my HTML file. So I'm going to hit deploy. I'm going to do a new deployment. It's the first time I'm going to deploy it. So up here it's got select type. I'm going to select web app. I'm going to give it a name. Every deployment you have to give it a name. So I'm going to go first deployment and uh, it's going to ask me what I want to run in it as so it's got me selected and it's going to use the permissions right now it's going to use the permissions i have set up for this google sheet for myself so anybody that accesses my url in this web app will go through my permissions now it does have a selection where you can say user access the web app so if i select this one it's whoever uses this web app whatever users it's going to use their permissions to access the Google Sheet. So if they don't have like right, right permissions to access the Google Sheet, they're not gonna be able to use it. But if they use my name, as I got set up here, and I got permissions to write, they're gonna use my permissions to execute the Google Sheet. So I'm gonna keep it as my name here. I want everybody to flow through my permissions. The next one, who has access? Now, right now, it's only myself will have granted access. I can change it to anyone that has a Google account. So that requires somebody to have a Google account to log in and they can access it. And then there's one that's anybody. So anybody that doesn't have a Google account, just has the URL, can access this. So right now, I'm going to set it as only myself. Now, if you're deploying out to a bunch of people, that you may not, not everybody has a Google account, then I would select this one, but that opens up to the entire world. So whoever has your URL can access this program. If you use only a Google account, that's just allowing that anybody has a Google account, but it's still opening up to everybody. And then if you just do yourself, that's just yourself. No one else can access it, but yourself and your account. So in this example, I'm just going to keep it as myself here. So I'm going to hit deploy. And now what it's doing is it's figuring out the permissions, see if I have permissions on here. And it's going to take me through the permission setup here. All right, so now it's asking me the web app requires you to authorize access to your data. So I'm going to say authorize access. That's going to take me through my permissions here. So I'm going to select my account here. I'm going to hit advanced. I'm going to hit go through web app display sheet down here. And now I'm going to allow it. So it's basically saying I'm allowing it to edit, create, and delete Google Sheets spreadsheets. I'm allowing this web app to do this. So I'm going to hit allow. So now it's giving me my, my URL down here. And this is the one that I'll be using to Access. So I'm going to hit copy here. I'm going to go to a new sheet over here. I could copy and paste that in. And there. There I have it displayed here. Just basically the settings of myself. Now I'm going to go through another thing here. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit test deployments. So when I deployed it, it gave me this test one. And this ends in a, this one ends in an EXEC. This one over here, I'm gonna click on it. This ends in a DEV. So any change, I'm gonna hit done here. Any change I make in here, in my HTML file, and I want this to be published out to everybody, I have to redeploy the web app for the changes. But if I do it in here, 
make a small change. Say I add display Google Sheet Web App 1 here. I'm just changing the header. I hit save. Over here, I can refresh this thing. And now it adds it in on my development URL. But over here on my executable, my published one out, if I refresh this, it is not going to update. What I'll have to do is redeploy the web app again. So I could go through that exercise. I'll go over here, I'll hit deploy, and I'll say new deployment. I'll hit second. I go through the same questions. Like that, I'm going to execute as myself with my permissions and only myself again. Just to, you know, just for this exercise, I'm going to do only myself. I'm going to hit deploy. Now it's going to produce another URL down here, which I'm going to click. And this is another EXEC one. Now it has my changes in here. So this is my second deployment. I still got my developer link over here and my second. So now I hit done here. Now I can go up here again to deploy and I can go over here to manage deployments. And now it'll show me, show me my first deployment. So again, my first deployment was without the one added in. So I could click on that, see how that's missing there. I can go back over here, click my second deployment and my URL down here. I could click on that. And my second rollout had the one in it here. So, so to summarize what we did here, I'm going to go back to my script. If you make any change in your HTML file here and your or your GS file as well, you'll have to redeploy to get a new EXEC URL right here to get the to display your latest changes. And this is the one that you want to give out to people to use. This is the URL that you want people to use. This is like your production copy. For your DEV URL over here, so when you make your changes for testing wise, you could check it here on the DEV without having to deploy it to the EXEC URL. So this is where you can test your changes before deploying. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.